Hey Taurus. So I'm going to do a reading for you. I already shuffled the cards. And at the bottom of the deck, I knew it was ready because we have the Hierophant and the Hierophant is the card of Taurus. So let's go ahead and jump into this reading here for you. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Midheaven could resonate for you. One, two, three. Okay. Taurus, what is your current situation? Five of Wands. Why the Five of Wands? Why the Five of Wands? Okay, it's over something that happened in the past. Six of Cups. Okay. What's crowning? King of Swords. Looks to me that you're either the King of Swords here. Shutting off anyone who tries to get in your way. This King of Swords facing towards the past. So it almost looks like he is blocking anyone that doesn't serve him anymore from his past out. That's what it looks like to me, the way it is laying right here, facing the past here. Okay. What is at the root? Root is judgment. Judgment. You're judging everything that comes into your line of view. I'm seeing here. This is the card of Scorpio. First arcana to come out. Major arcana to come out. It goes in line with your crowning of being the king of swords. Looking at the past and shutting it down. Like If you see this card, look at his... Look at the sword. So he's facing the past this way, saying, don't even come near me. I'm cutting that out. Root is because you've made the judgment. It could be based on something that was from the past, that you've gone through a lot. You've gone through enough to know by now, right? Okay, what's in the recent past? Ooh, these cars just want to keep moving. Okay. Two of Pentacles. Okay. Looks like, for me, that's like, um, you were juggling something. Maybe. Juggling to stay above water. Ah, yep, it's finance related because the Queen of Pentacles came out. It looks to me like in the recent past, you're trying to stay afloat here. Two of Pentacles because something involving financial issues, perhaps. Um, yeah something finance related now in this current situation you have the five of wands which is conflict um you're trying to hold it together but you have the six of cups that's influencing this conflict as well because it's something to do with your past what is soon to come forwards the page and <clears throat> ace of rods okay so the page is facing the future the king of swords has his sword blocking off the past this page has his sword not blocking off the future 
but more open to go into the future. We can look at this in what the page means in tarot, but I'm not looking at it like that. How I'm reading this is that you are soon to be a page facing forwards, brand new. Because the sword, the way the page is holding it, is more so I'm ready to defend, defend but I am not blocking something off completely right away. King of Swords, he is blocking. He's using that sword as, boom, it's a barrier, it's a wall, but it's facing the past. It's saying, back off to the past. No more past involvement in my life, right? I'm not going to let the past weigh me down. So you're almost like going to be ready to march forwards, towards um, something new that involves something passionate, something new, a new start. I just said new like a thousand times, but something brand new, as I say it again. So, <laughs> um, or it could also mean that a page, like a younger person comes into your life, bringing out a brand new start for you. Take whatever resonates. So a card to represent you right now. What's your current energy vibing? What's it um, giving off right now, Taurus? Mm -hmm. Eight of Cups. Yeah, that definitely. Yep. Eight of Cups. You're walking away from past emotions. This is the past. This is the past. No longer will I reside in this lonely crevice of the mountain by myself, just with eight cups alone. Done with that. Okay. What is in your environment? Okay. Eight of wands. There's a lot of fast movement in your environment. But then there's, hmm, stop and go. Maybe a lot of fast movement, but communication is blocked. People are moving fast, but they're not saying anything about it. They're keeping to themselves in your environment. Okay. What is in the hopes and fears, Taurus? The Lovers, card of Gemini, second major arcana. Are you afraid of love, Taurus? Are you afraid of love? Have you had an experience in the past that has broken your heart so deeply that you have lost all faith in love? Because that is in your hopes and your fears. I have to, I gotta cover it because this is like a very, this is a very, uh, it's a very, um, uh, uh, revealing picture. <laughs> so I can't show the whole card. Um, yeah, that's what I'm getting here. You know, I can relate with you on that. Love is very scary because it requires you to take a risk with your heart. And if you've been broke, if you've been broken in the past, maybe more than a couple times in your life, then it's hard. It's hard to get back on that track of believing that there is such thing. But you will know what's best for you, and I'll just leave it at that. Okay. So what is in the possible distant outcome for Taurus? OK. 
Okay, some more hard work coming around here. Might take a little bit, but you know, slowly but surely. What else? Hmm. Okay. After some time of waiting, there's going to be a king of rods that comes in. There's going to be a king of rods that enters in your life. Possibly. Okay, I'm not a fortune teller, but this is what the cards are showing me, okay? Possible distant outcome is you might, um, after a time of waiting, because Seven of Pentacles waiting, could also involve maybe you meet them at work. Or maybe you meet them while you're growing your garden, <laughs> gardening, or you're going to a farmer's convention. Who knows? Farmer's market even. Like, I look at this, like, not just in the pentacles way of work, but maybe you go to the farmer's market and you meet a king of rods. I'm just getting several different things here. And if it's not like a love interest, maybe it's like a someone that helps you. Maybe it could even be that they're helping you out of a rut financially. It could mean a lot of things. Um, yeah. Um, I would say maybe in autumn, autumn time, maybe, yeah, I'm looking for different things here that can give me some clues. Um, in your soon to come forwards, though, I would say if this isn't representing you and your the way that you're going to look at things soon in a different way, um, the page, like I said, can also represent um, another new person coming to you that inspires you. Ace of Wands is inspiration, sparking something. Now, what that spark is about, I don't know, but... I think that you definitely have a lot of scorpionic energy in your root, and that is what's keeping you very guarded and very much cautious about all the steps you're taking, which is good. However, this uh, hopes and fears card, I cannot help but really notice the most of the lovers being in your hopes, but also your fears. I would look to your Gemini placement and your chart. I'd look at your Venus. Look at your Venus. Um, see what's impacting your Venus in your natal chart. That could give you some clues as to what's going on. Uh, maybe how possible ways of how you've developed these, these fears in regards to that. Um, and then find ways to heal that. It takes a lot of time. But... I believe you in you and I believe that you can you can do anything you put your heart to and the two major arcanas here is Scorpio and Gemini so. all right that's that's what I have I hope you liked it and I hope you have a great day